hello amazing people welcome back to my channel how you all doing hope you're all generally fine guys good to see you here again today i'm going to show you how to make this two piece this is a layered skirt and a an off shoulder um front tie crop top super easy let's dive into it guys so this is um the fabric that i'm using for my layered skirt okay i have this already cut out in pieces because i already have some um leftover piece i had to put together ordinarily we're supposed to be doing this much later but as we go along you understand what i mean so i have my pieces cut out and of course i have the lining as well i'm using that for the under skirt you can call it the under layer and of course my working too so it's a three layered right so i have three different long pieces here which represent for each um, um layer so like i said this is meant to be done after drafting but let's just move on right now what i want to do now is to cut out some um draft a basic skirt pattern for on this lining okay yeah so this is what i need to draft out first before talking about you know creating my my layers so i have this folded into two and again i'm folding it again into four so you can see me positioning this in such a way that um i have um two inches protruding out for my zipper space so i'm just going ahead to pin this down just to have this in place because of the texture of um, this um, line is quite slippery okay yeah so i'm going to mark out two inches for the zipper allowance so have in mind that the actual length of my skirt is um 20 but it's not going to be the actual length of this under skirt okay yeah it's going to be reduced right yeah and for you to know um the width of this fold the width of um this my line is just the biggest part of the measurement which is the hip so the hip is 40 divided by 4 i have 10 just add about um, 3 inches there about to it okay that's how i got the width of this fold okay yes guys so that's just it for here then of course like i said the length of the actual skirt is going to be 20 but i'm going to take away like four or five inches that's the ideal way because your under skirt is supposed to be what shorter than the actual length so like i said it's 20 if so we i will take away like four inches so i'll be left with 16 so the length of this my under skirt is going to be what 16 don't also forget that we are going to be adding um, a band later on okay much later so i'm just taking note of the 16 inches for the length of this my under skirt okay you can see going ahead to mark this down then the extra um inches i have there which is about um, 1.5 inches i'll just use that one for the hemming okay that's what i'll use to hem the lowest part of this line because of course i have to clean up the edges there right yeah so that's just it now so i'll go ahead and start drafting now um 16 inches of course is the actual length i have right now then the startup line is going to be the waistline so i'll put the waist circumference okay my waist circumference i'm working with is 28 if i divide it by four i have seven okay know that um there's a two inches space there for the zipper so i'm starting on that unfold part so i'm marking that seven down then i'll just go ahead and add um two inches extra uh, for the same allowance there then the next one is going to be the hip so from the top i'm taking the hip line at nine inches there okay just ruling that out then on the hip line i'll fix in what uh, what i have for my hip circumference which i said earlier was 40 divided by 4 that is 10 i'll mark that down i'll also go ahead and mark extra two inches of what um seam allowance there okay so you can see that now so um, for the lowest part i'll just take it straight down there's no need of creating any pencil or whatever just a straight cord remember it's an under um skirt here so just connect it from my waist to my hip all the way what to the lowest um, point there and that's it guys we just drafted that a uh, basic skirt there so i'll go ahead now and um cut this out okay yeah so we have this so just trying to notch that um, zipper line so that it will be more um, visible so i have this now so going ahead to um, separate my piece so you can see i have this for the front here and of course this is for my back piece here so you can see this now so the next thing now i'll do is to go ahead and hem the lowest point that you 1.5 inches i'll go ahead and hem it so that i can get that ready before we start drafting on it and here i've gone ahead to do that so you can see um 
it's cleaned up already so both for the front and the back so let's get started with it drafting so now confirming the actual length again is 16 right yeah so i'll go ahead now and start um taking out the measurement so you already have in mind the width of um of your layer so the width for me i'm working with is 7.5 that's what i already have cut out here 7.5 it was 8 initially but after hemming the lowest point i'm left with 7 so it's always good to to you know also hem the lowest point of your um of your long piece before drafting it out so i'm marking out 7.5 inches please pay attention on this part now so the first line there is the waistline see my where my tape is facing I'm placing it at that waistline. I'm marking out what the 7.5, where the, the, the length of um, this layer is supposed to stop, right? But know that when the next layer, I want to fix in the next layer, you have to go inwards. You can't start at that exact line. So I'm going to go inwards by 1.5 or 2 inches. So you can see me marking that down. So what I'm doing right now is just to make sure that I have everything already marked down so that when I'm attaching, it will be very, very easy. So from the actual length, you can see me moving up again by what? Two inches. Okay, so I'm going ahead what to rule that down now. So now that I've gotten this, then I can now discard um, the initial line already. You can see me discarding that now. So that means I have uh, where I will attach my second layer. For me to get the third layer now, I will go ahead and still mark the width. You can see me, I'm going ahead to mark 7.5 again. So, which means my second layer is starting from that point to where I'm marking right now. I'll go ahead and rule it again. You can see what I'm doing. I'll rule that again. But just like I did previously, I'll have to go inwards again by 2 inches. Okay, 2 inches is ideal. Okay, yeah, I'll go inwards by 2 inches. Now, you can see me going ahead to mark out what my 2 inches line. Okay, yeah. So, once I've achieved this again, I'll go ahead and connect my point and rule the line out. So this is where what uh, my third layer is supposed to be. Then I can discard also that line. I hope you understand. There's nothing difficult here. Just take your time and understand it. Then you will get it right. Trust me, because this is an easy way to get so that you don't make mistake. So just trying to demonstrate it. You see, if it's my width of, you see where the first layer is going to be on that waistline. Now the second layer, you see, I'm placing it where we've already marked out right so it's supposed to be hidden inside right you can see this now then bring in the third layer and place it there you can see the way it is now so everything is hiding inside so you can see this now right so remember my under skirt was shorter we said it has to be shorter right so the the last layer has to protrude out to give you the actual length of the skirt that you want having a mind of what your what um the band that you're going to fix after okay i hope you get it right the actual length of your skirt will be getting what from the last layer now moving on now you can see what i'm going to do now is just what repeat the same thing i've done here i'm going to repeat the same markings on the back piece so you can see i'm going ahead to what do this exact same thing so that i can get you know the similar markings okay guys if you've not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and smash the subscribe button okay i appreciate that a lot and also like my video share i will appreciate that remember to turn your notification bell so you get notified every time i upload my weekly videos thank you guys so you can see i've gone ahead to do the same thing now now the next thing i'm going to do now is to join it now okay i'll take each piece and join it by the side place it right side facing each other you can see this now i'm going ahead to pin this down remember it was two inches seam allowance but you're going to use like um three quarter of an inch or even one inch because you need some ease okay remember it's an under scale doesn't have to be all fitted inside so now after joining it's like i've demonstrated you can now see that all the lines are matching up you have them all in a straight path right yeah so this is the time where you are supposed to what take your measurement to get your fabric that you'll be using remember i said that earlier this is the best time forget that i've already cut out my pieces down that's because i have leftover pieces i just have to put everything together so the first thing you do now is 
where the first layer will be you see where i'm placing my tape on the waistline take what you have they have about 40 inches choose the number of um how you want to multiply you want to multiply by 2 by 2.5 of 3 any number you choose that's what you want to use all through assuming we want to multiply by 2.5 okay because this depends on the amount of fullness you want for your maybe your plate or you want to do a gathers okay let's assume i'm doing 2.5 you can see my 40 now if I multiply it by, uh, I have 140 there, that's multiplied by 1. I have another 40 there now, multiplied by 2. Then I just have some little, you know, you know, um, um, excesses there, okay? Yeah, so it's not really up to 2.5, but we are just assuming you are multiplying by 2.5. That's how you would do it. Then after that, go to the next line again, where you're supposed to put in the second layer. Take your measurement there. There I have about 43, right? This same 43, you multiply it again by that 2.5. Remember, you must maintain using the same number you're using to multiply, okay? Now, I'm going to the last, the last layer now. You can see what I'm doing there, taking the same measurement there. And on this one, I have about 55 there about there. Whatever it is you have, multiply it by that same what number you've been using initially, which is what? 2.5. I hope you understand. So this will enable you know how to cut out your fabric. That's why I said this is the best time to what cut out your fabric. So I'll go ahead now and um, um, do that. So you can see after um, cutting out your fabric, then you can go ahead and hem it before attaching. It's always important to hem before attaching and also to weave the edges. Now, after doing that, just like you see me doing, I will start attaching. Remember, there is a zipper space. So you don't have to start pleating on that zipper space because you'll be fixing a zipper there. So you have to start, let's say 0 0.5 inches or 1 inches away from that zipper line okay you can see what i'm demonstrating now so just from that point you go ahead and start pleating your fabric on it so we are doing this one for the first layer this is just me demonstrating how your pleat is going to look like you keep doing this till you get to the very end of the other part and also don't forget what to stop 0 0.5 inches away from what that zipper line okay you can see that so that's just it guys just there is nothing difficult here. Take your time. You definitely understand this, okay? Yes. So once you're done um, achieving this, you move over what to the next layer, okay? Now, if you move over to the next layer, you repeat the same process again, like you see me doing. Move away from that zipper space and start pleating. Just pleat and pleat um, till you get what to the very, very end you can see this is what you keep doing you did this for the second layer and you also do this what for the last layer yeah so this is just what i'm just going to do okay for these three layers i'll go please take, take my time please everything in then of course i'll have my layered um skirt already so i'll go ahead and finish this up and i'll come back to show you how it looks and here guys you can see i've gone ahead to do my pleating you can see how beautiful this is looking already you can see the inside now you can see the layers just like we said it is short and right now you can see this now so like i said um the actual length of our layer was 16 right and if you look at the last layer the last layer is protruding by what two inches so which means 16 plus 2 we already have 18 18 remember we said the full length of the skirt is supposed to be 20 then the remaining two inches will be made up by by the band we are going to fix right yeah so also you can see the edges have been properly clean you can see the zipper space we didn't sew just like i demonstrated yeah, everything is there and also very important to weave the edges you see i've weaved the edges even the edges of the ones i pleated i make sure that i weave the edges before attaching it's very important it makes your work very very nice especially if you're doing this for um, a commercial purpose right yeah so this is it guys so neatly done then of course the next thing i'm going to do now is to attach my band in order to do that i'll just place my tape at the edge and take what i have on the waistline there remember this is inclusive of the zipper allowance i have about 33 um, inches there so i'll go ahead and cut out the band of two inches remember that's what we have left now to make up for our full length so this is a band of our two inches you can see i folded into two i've also with the edges right now the best way to attach this now is to get the midpoint of what i have on my skirt just folding it into two like you can see me doing 
marking out that center point right now you can see this then i'll go ahead and do the same thing for the band as well fold it into two also and get the center point as well okay yeah you can see what i'm marking out there so now that i've gotten the both center points i will attach it let the the midpoint match up with the midpoint on the main skirt okay place it like so and so just so from that center point to one end and from that same center point to the other end this is the best way to so start from the center point so that if you have any excesses um you know left over you you'll be able to what, trim that out you can see i'll have some excesses there and also do the same thing what from that center point to the under end okay that's just what i'm doing right now yeah so once you're done okay you can go ahead and trim all the excesses and of course you go ahead and give this a very very what good press if you can top stitch inwards to not make the the thread visible you can also go ahead and do that to make that more relax and that is it guys you can see how beautiful this looks the next and final thing to do now will be to what attach what your zipper just bring everything close and attach your zipper from that waistline all the way to the point where you want your zipper to stop okay wherever your zipper stop then of course you go ahead and hem the remaining part to the end of the skirt guys and your layer skirt is ready that is it guys you can see the process here it's quite easy guys do not become don't worry just go and write again in case it's a little bit confusing trust me you get this right this is like the easy easiest way you can achieve this that is it on how to make this beautiful layer skirt thank you so much guys for joining me today for the top part i've already done that video i have it linked up already in the description box how to make the off shoulder front side crop top super easy beginners friendly guys go ahead and watch that video thank you guys for joining me again thank you so much to all my subscribers i appreciate you a lot and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that like my video share i'll appreciate this a whole lot thank you so so much for always coming back guys thank you guys i appreciate you a whole i can't stop thanking you you guys are amazing see you on the next one have a wonderful day bye